The European Committee of the Regions opened its 115th plenary session in Brussels on the 3rd and 4th of December 2015 by a minute of silence to honour the Paris victims. Donald Tusk's introductory statement centred on the importance of local and regional politicians and the new challenges faced by the European Union. As the voice of Europe's regions and cities, the Committee of the Regions is on the front lines of European politics. Migration, integration of refugees and security were among the key topics on the agenda. Dimitrios Avromopoulos, Commissioner of Migration, Home Affairs and Citizenship, who recently visited a migration camp in Calais, opened the debates by putting forward an interesting angle. Very soon, Europe will be in need of migrants. Europe is an aging continent. We believe that for the years to come, for the next two decades, more than 17 million migrants will be needed by Europe. So we must be well prepared. Keshetu Kienge, member of the European Parliament, emphasized that strengthening of border controls cannot take precedent over international obligation to respect human rights. Abbiamo chiesto di anteporre alla consueta visione securitaria una visione olistica con l'intento di segnare un cambiamento nell'approccio europeo al fenomeno migratorio. The same recommendation was part of François de Coster's European Agenda for Migration, along with his insistence on the prominent role that local and regional authorities have on the discussion around their capacity to welcome migrants. We, the local and regional authorities, we are at the front line. We have to manage the situation. We cannot wait anymore. We have not waited. Franz Timmerman, first Vice President of the European Commission, pledged to support local and regional authorities which are facing immediate and long-term responses to the migration crisis. Local uh, actors are in direct contact with those most at risk of radicalization. You see people on a daily basis and you can see how they develop, how they change. European citizens, and especially young citizens, were also at the center of Benedetta Brignetti's opinion on legislating a shared economy, a dynamic system made for builders rather than consumers. La sharing economy non è una cosa astratta, ma come evidenziamo nel parere è un nuovo paradigma economico, una realtà positiva e costruttiva, nonostante le sue criticità e lacune normative alle quali ci auspichiamo e che le quali ci auspichiamo siano presenti solo per il momento. With COP21 agreements being negotiated in Paris, it was the right moment to discuss the Covenant of Mayor's successful movement, whose aim is to achieve, if not surpass, the European Union's target of 20% decrease in CO2 emissions by 2020. The idea was to prove that the concept of multi-level governance is a reality. The big surprise was that it actually worked, and it even exceeded all the expectations. Also on the packed agenda were six other opinions. The next plenary session is scheduled in February.